find them. So, so what could what could do the simple and simple Android calculator? Uh, 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 sorry. So now, since we deal with simple Android uh, simple calculator, sorry, we we'll look we we'll look at addition, we we'll look at subtraction, right? Yeah. We'll look at multiplication and we'll look at revision. So now, maybe one day we will just do. Maybe one day we we'll go whole session where we say we we'll go do the calculator. We we'll go use both front end. No, say this one are just front timing and here we go the runner. Yeah. Uh -huh. So now for addition, we we'll have we we'll have to create a function. We we'll name it function add, right? Now more assume say we want taking our own uh, values. You get. Mm. If one taking our own values now for this terminal, you feel enter number. What do you say? You know, yes, yes, you feel that with the windows prompt, right? Good, good. So, what you go do now? We go use instead of prompt, you know, say you still feel use prompt alone. You, you know, say we feel still use prompt, yes, 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 yes. But I want to introduce you to another one, okay? But I'm not even try the prompt, make a run now. Merci. Okay. Okay, good. So, more use the prompt. You understand? So, yeah. So, more say const n1. That's the first number. Go there equal to prompt. Enter first number. Abi? Yes. Then const n2 equal to prompt enter second number. Right? Yes. So now we can check then or, or instead of this, right? We can say const then um operator op. I will use op as operator. Prompt. Enter sign or operation. Then bracket. I go put plus, minus, multiplication or division. So, what am I doing here? Once the person enter the first number. Next, you go show an operator, me enter operator. Next, you go show and say me enter second number. So in essence, my calculator, I they do them in this light. Number. Number. Operator. Number. Number. Then you will give me answer. You understand? Just like how you yeah. press for your calculator. Two yeah. plus three equal two. So now we tell one way you solve for year two. Okay. You understand? So now we can check since because the operation they based on the operator. You understand? Mm. If the operator, if the operator. Now plus positive. Waiting go up and we say you go be waiting. Addition. Yes. Abby? Yes. If the operator na negative, you go be waiting. Subtraction. If the operator now waiting now multiply multiply, you go be what? Multiplication. Multiplication. And if the operator now divide you go back to division right yes come in uh, thank you you're welcome so no vessel <laughs> all right so now 
That means we need to use our if statement begin check. So we go go check. How we go take check? We go check this OP where the person will enter. So we go check. We say if OP is equal to now is advisable to always use three equal to to check instead of two okay. for JavaScript. You understand? Okay. Uh -huh. So if it's addition, then what you go do? Return n1 plus n2. Okay. You get yes. okay. That's if then else if operator is equal to the minus, isn't it? What should he do? We should return n one minus what? N two. Else if operator is equal to multiply you should do what return n1 multiply by what n2 s if operator is equal to division you should return what n1 divide by what n2 n2 then finally else of course if none of your operations if what you enter no they are more positive negative multiply or divide now now in this else go answer you console.log enter a valid operator plus minus multiply divide so more go over our program now what do you want to do we want to create a simple calculator and what would the calculator do is going to add is going to subtract is going to multiply and is going to divide now what is the structure of our calculator you enter the first number you enter the operator and you enter the second number now how will the calculator know what you want to do it will be based on the operator that was entered now if the operator you enter is plus it will take it as addition if the operator you enter is minus it will take it as subtraction if the operator you take is uh, as there is to take it as multiplication and if the operator is slash to take it as division so first of all how can we get the number we use plus and then we store it inside the number n1 n1 this one how do we get the operator we use prompt and then we store it inside the variable called op second number the same thing now there is one problem with what we have here what is the problem? We could run the program first. You understand? Mm -hmm. We'll run the program first. Now, this one. If you check what we do here, you see say we don't use function. Yes. You, you observe them? Yes. Good. Now, we go do this one. You understand? You grab. Yes, yes, yes. I'll start this one. We go come do another one. The same thing, but the one way they use functions. Function. Okay. You get. Yes, I get. Uh -huh. You so, don't say before, but yes. this else if I used to call them together. Okay. So they mostly confuse me. I'm like, if they do if, yes, I, I can't see else if. So I'm like, what if this else if? So then I come to say that else or another if. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Okay. Exactly. So you understand? Yeah. So each of these ones say, because we know they do them inside function, this return statement they use less. Okay. Since because check out, they know they not be inside function now. We they run these ones. Exactly. So it means here the return uh, statement they use less. 
you get yes, yes. Uh -huh. so in this case we go just use console dot okay more even runner like this you go see say you no go work you no go give us anything so more runner what do you see enter first what number number 25 enter what operation, operation. more say minus enter what second number second number 15 you give us anything no you see you don't give us anything so since no be inside function would they use this one this return statement they use less so instead of return for we to get what they look for we need to use console.log console.log right so yes. good. now more run them again first number 25 operation minus second number 15 what do we get 10 25 minus 15 are waiting 10 10 more, more check and for positive 12 Operation plus the next one eight. What do we get? One twenty eight. Now this thing I want to point out to you. What do we suppose mm. get for addition? We suppose get twenty. Now why did they give us one twenty eight? What thing happened here? Now concatenation. You know concatenation. Um, joining two strings joining together. Two, exactly. You know, say if we say if we get something like this, cons a right, we say a is twelve. Abi, then we yes. can say const b. We can say b na eight. Abi, yeah. we can say console dot log. We can say a plus b. Ba? Now, what do you see? 128. Now, one thing with one thing with numbers for JavaScript, you say if na, na, if na minus multiplication or division, where you call number, even if the number na string, JavaScript go creatively see how it go change that string to number, take runner. You understand? That nice you go coerce that thing. Good, you go coerce them. That's why here, if we say minus, if we use minus instead, you see, say, go give us the correct answer. What do you see? Four. Four. If we use multiply, you go see, say, go give us the correct answer. What do you see? 96. 96. If we use division, you see, go give us the correct answer. What do you see? 1.5 but not positive once not positive you go concatenate them so what is the solution in this case once you they get anything from prompt no say even if na number you they use that thing will go change from a uh, number to string so you got pass them as an it to solve that problem you got pass out as an int. So what does pass int do? Pass int convert numbers. Uh, numbers, numbers that are in form of string. You understand? To normal numbers. So now here, if you can come here, I say pass int. A plus pass int B. What thing will happen here? You say you go convert this twelve when they is form of string to normal twelve for number. Here too, you go convert them to normal eight for number. So more could run this code again. More could see what we will get. So what will get? Twenty. Twenty. You you grab. Yes. Good. So now more we'll try them. Twelve plus eight. So what you get now? 20. 20. So now the reason why we got pass them as an int. Mm. You, you grab? Yes. So more we'll try this last else. More we'll say 12 
Moi, c'est 12. Ah. Ok, moi, c'est 12, 13. Ok. Moi, c'est... Euh, moi, use and. Moi, use and. Then, 25. What do you talk? Enter a valid operator. Enter a valid operator. So, you, you, you grab now, va? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So, now, we don't do it for here. Now, what we do it inside functions? You get? So, that means if we know, sorry, if we not put any valid, uh, even from the number option, if we not put any valid number, you yes. could still bring out that S function, will be enter a value operator. That's which one be that? Okay, like, let's one. say, yes. No, no. If we enter a valid number, if it throw error because we don't capture that one. The only thing we will capture now this OP, the operator. Oh, the operator. Okay. You understand? Okay. You you grab. Yes, I understand now. Uh -huh. <laughs> so so now if we want to check for this one, today show say waiting they enter a number, right? How we go take check up? We say we will say if N1, right, is not yes. equal to type of int, right? If we can say return, so what would they try to talk here? Anything where they study this N1, if you know they equal to int, this type of, now you go use check the type. If not be int, they make you just go back. So more could run this code, more could see. More say 15. Uh, and more say like Gideon. Abi? Mm. Yeah, more say like plus. Yeah, more say like 25. You see, say now the return make I'm saying no true error. So here, instead of return, if you say console.log invalid first number. Abi? Mm. So more run am now. More say Gideon. More say plus. More say twenty five. What do you see? Invalid first number. You you understand, ba? Yeah. Uh -huh. So, but in this case, this program will write a will no capture to check the type. So, what well, say you don't understand this stuff? Yes, I understand. Yeah. So, well, now more we'll use functions. Now, if I use functions, right, we we'll go say we we'll go create an, our addition function, function add, right? You we'll go take in N1, you're we'll taking A, you we'll go take in B, right? Yes. Then here you go return A plus B. The next one function sub that's subtraction. You go taking A two numbers. You go return A minus B. Our third function multiply. You go taking two numbers. You go return. A multiply by B. The last function divides. You go take in two numbers. You go return A divided by B. Right? Yes. Now, for the first thing we do this one, what say you don't say to you call the function? Nothing will happen. You don't say we can yes. call the function. Yes. Uh -huh. So now here. Now, we go come check. Now, if we like, if we just use normal if, if we like, if we create another function, if we call this one the calculate function, calc, you get? Yes. Then this function now, then go take in the main number, the N1 and the N2. Or, mono go by this way. Mono go by this way. But this way, I'm going to easier for us. You get? 
But we don't go by this way. We we'll just use this if statement. We we'll bring back this one. Right? Now, but instead of entering number directly here, you grab. Wait till, instead of entering number directly here, wait till go enter now the name of the function. Add. Then which which not which wait till be the two numbers? N1 and what? N2. N2. So we'll go fit up here. N1 and 2. So we we'll make a note one like this. Make a fair say result. Let result be called to this, right? Then we'll come print out the result. You grab if operator is positive, call the addition function because that's the one that is in charge of adding two numbers together. Give it the two numbers we just entered the n1 and n2, feed the two numbers to it so that it's going to carry out the operation of adding the two numbers. And since it's returning the value, we need to store the values it will return in a variable. Then, upon storing the value in a variable, for us to know or to see the value, we have to print it out. So we print out using console.log. You they grab this thing? No, this I just, I just this talk at this point now. Okay. Where we enter this if where we put those values for if now. Okay. Now make I make I cancel everything. Sorry, make I make I respond. Uh, is he even called me? Oh, this guy. All right. So now, but you understand these functions that we create? Yes. Good. So remember, the calculator, the main thing still remains your operator. Now, your operator will determine what's in the bone, whether I add, na subtract, na multiply, or na divide. Yes. Good. So in that case, it means say we still need to check. Okay, is it positive if the operator is positive, right? What should we do? Of course, if waiting the person enter an applause, he's supposed to add the two numbers. Abi? Yes. But now, this adding of those two numbers, a function, we don't already get function where they run out. The addition, the add function. From the add function, yeah. So in this case, we just need to call the add function. Then give an argument of the numbers where we say with the enter, which is n1 and what? n2. You get? You grab? Yes, yes, yes. But what is this function they do? If they return the value, they, you see them? Yes. You know they print them out. So it means a we now. We got come print out the function. You grab? Yes, yes, yes. This one go just return the value. So this console log, what is this console log they help us do? Any value where this function return, you go print them out for us so that we can see them. Okay. You grab? Yes. yes. So, Moku run and Moku see. So, first number, Mo say 15. Of course, we want a plus. Second number, Mo say uh, 5. So, what will we get? You see, um, no, if we don't add this console.log here, see what will happen. Our code go run, you understand? But it no go show us anything. 20 plus no say 15. You see anything here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's why we need to print it out. So what I do that initial point? Instead of make I just use console log directly on the function, I first save waiting the function they return inside a variable. 
you understand? Then, now that variable, I found the printout. You understand? Uh -huh. So, the rest, now just your else if. So, else if, although you still use if for all of instead of else if, uh, if it's called if again, operator is equal to negative const r so they call to subtract we call the two variables n1 n2 then we'll console in dot log the r the next one too if operator is equal to multiplication Const add will be so so for multiply now it will be more n1 comma n2 then console Wait, I think so if you don't already declare R, you know if you use them again for other variables. Okay, that's true. See me. As not be function be this. That's true. Although this one bar, yeah. why you see say I go feel use them? Now because now only one of this block of code go execute. Okay, now okay, okay. You understand? Yeah. Uh -huh. So that's why I feel use them. So const add is equal to we put divide n1 n2. I mean so dot add. So we no go add else for this one. So more run up. We go see first number twelve plus more say eight or more say two. What do you get? 14. 14. 12 minus 2. What do you get? 10. 12 multiply. 12 multiply by 2. What do you get? 24. 24. Then finally, 12 divide by 2. What do you get? 6. Six. So you, you don't grab. Uh -huh. 